Harvest is well underway here in southern Oklahoma, but unfortunately the best wheat we've seen here in Cotton County is in these test plots. In this county, most of the fields west of I-44 anyway don't look quite this good. And the farther west you go, the worse it gets because they just didn't get rainfall. And they, they never had the yield potential before the freeze. Then after the freeze, it, what they had was gone. So most of that wheat was grazed out or bailed off. The freeze he is referring to occurred on April 15th. With temperatures hitting right at the critical point that morning, fields like this one at the top of a hill survived. Many in valleys did not. Yet those that did were still limited by drought. We're just thankful to have a combine here today. Uh, we're averaging around 20 right now. We're about 50% cut. Uh, we didn't disaster any of our wheat, so we feel like that uh, we've done fairly well for the year. Uh, our high so far has been around 25 bushels, and I cut some the other day for four. So it's, it's wide variance. You know, we've got some pretty sorry wheat. Uh, some of it's making as low as four bushels. Charlie Swanson is the manager of co-op services in Lawton, Oklahoma, with branches in Chattanooga and Granfield. You know, we're just extremely proud, proud to be able to take in three or 400,000 bushels, which is about a whole 15, 20 percent of an average crop. Chattanooga will, you know, they generally handle a million bushels and they're going to take 200,000 bushels. Granfield's about the same way. They, they generally have uh, taken in a million bushels at that location or more. And uh, they've taken in a little over 100,000 bushels already and I hope they get another 100,000. That is not to say that it is all bad news. Back at the test plots, we asked Extension small grain specialist Jeff Edwards for his early impressions on quality. Surprising. Uh, you know, given the, now at, at this location we've had a little more moisture, but given the amount of drought that we've had and everything, I would expect the kernels to be more shriveled than, than what they are. They're not, not huge by any standards, but they, they uh, are a decent size, and we should have decent milling and baking quality out of these kernels. And a, and a decent test weight. So, so pleasantly surprised. Uh, we'll see if this continues as we move northward and, and westward where the drought maybe hit us a little, little harder. We thought we might have some problems with quality, but uh, we've had good test weights, most of it above 60 pounds. And uh, also we're getting reports back that the protein's good. So uh, we can't complain about the quality. We just need to worry about the quantity at this point. And that quantity will have an effect not just on the farmer, but on the communities built around this enterprise. In an average year when we make a profit, we uh, increase our, improve our infrastructure, uh, maybe buy some fertilizer type of equipment and, and work on the grain elevators or build new elevators. And um, this year we're not gonna be able to do any of that. It's gonna be kind of a tight your old belt buckle and, and uh, hope that, that 2015 hurried up and get here. My father said if you never thought it was going to rain, you're probably in the wrong business. So you just turn around and the next crop's always going to be better. You know, you got to step up the plate and swing. You know, if you don't step up the plate and swing, you're, you know, you're not going to get on base even. So, so we're going to keep swinging. In Cotton County, waiting on the next at-bat, I'm Austin Moore.